Shalom. Welcome to Rabbi Ron in the house. Hey, once again, we were talking about John 17. Yeshua says that he prays that we would all be one. We disciples of his as he and the Father are one. And so shared this on our radio show. And I've been thinking about it when I was preparing for that. I thought about that. Well, we're to be one. We disciples, each of us are to be one. How does that look like? What does it look like being one in the same way that Yeshua and the Father are one? I started to give thought and I thought, well, gee, let's see. I just last week celebrated my 20th wedding anniversary. 20 years of, of marriage and gee, maybe one or two times over the 20 years, I had a little minor, minor, tiny disagreement with my wife. Okay, maybe maybe once or twice, uh, more than once or twice, probably. I sometimes maybe with with friends, co-workers, things like that. Y you have disagreements and and uh, start to think. Well, Yeshua said that we're to be one, as He and the Father are one. And I start to think. Well, oh, gee, uh, did, did did Yeshua and the Father did they ever have any kind of disagreements like I, I had with a friend or a co-worker or? or maybe even my wife on a, a rare, rare occasion. And I said, you know, I, I don't think the father and the son, they, they just never got at it. I don't think they ever picked up their fists and said, come on. You know, it, it never happened. I don't think you, she ever got mouthy with his heavenly father. And so I said, wow, you know, th that means that if his desire is that we would be one and he, as he and the father are one, then, and if it means that they never fight and get into a disagreement, then his prayer is that we would never either. So what happens? It hit me as I thought about it. Well, that means this, that, that in the future, I start to get into a disagreement with one another, somebody else, one of you. I need to hopefully remember, the Lord brings to my mind this scripture in John 17 that the two of us or the group of us would be one like the Father and Son and realize, boy, this ain't the way they're acting. And so say, time out, we better stop. We need to relate like Yeshua and the Father relate. And so let's pray right now for that, for us to be one. And then after we pray to say, all right, now let's, let's resume now. Let's engage one another once again in the way that the Father and the Son engage one another. Boy, that's serious stuff, heavy-duty stuff, easier said than done. But boy, I think there's something there with that thought the Father gave me when I was thinking on this scripture. And so I wanted to pass it on to you, give you that challenge. And so pray about it, and I pray that you would take this challenge and ask the Lord to help you in this manner, as I do the same. Hey, I'll see you again soon. This is Rabbi Ron in the house.